Hello, let's continue with this quiz program. We'll make version three today, and this is inspired by this question. Should all the questions and answers be stored in the code? The code will get longer if there are more questions, say 100 or more. And the code would get longer, and that's a great question because these questions for the quiz should probably be in a file instead of being in the program or a database. But just to be simpler, we'll make it in a file today. Here's such a file, questions.txt. It's in the same directory as the uh, program here. And um, the questions are separated from the answers by a tab. So when you type in the question, you press the tab, and then uh, it should move over some number of uh, spaces, and then um, you type the answer. Okay, so there's a file with some questions in it, and so now let's see what we need to do to modify the code. Uh, we were creating this list of tuples, and we're going to change that so we can read it from a file. So to read from a file, we use something like this, with open questions.txt as f, and then we'll say lines gets f dot read lines. So this opens the file for reading and uses uh, f to save the, uh, the, the handle to that. I forget the precise term for that. And then we read all the lines from it and store that into a variable called lines. So we're going to get rid of all this. And where we used to have questions and answers, we're still dealing with lines. So we're going to shuffle all the lines. And then let's come down to here. And we're going to say for, I'm going to cut this, and then for line in lines. You remember from the last lesson that we're using a slice operation to extract just part of it um, in case the, the, the user doesn't want to answer all the questions. And one by one, the lines get assigned to this variable called line. And now we're going to take that line and we're going to um, split it. We're going to do a few things with it. First is we're going to use strip, which removes the end of line character from the end of the line. And then we're going to split it on the tab character. And then we're going to assign those two pieces, the question and the answer, to these two variables. OK, so line is one line of the file. Here's the file. So one line would be like that. And then we trim off this new line character at the end that you don't see here, but it causes, causes us to go to the next line. And then we'll split based on the, we'll split on the tab character here. So that'll give us the uh, question and the right answer into two different variables. OK, uh, let's run. How many questions? One question. How many beats per measure? In 2-4 time. 2-4 uh, time, that's two quarter notes, so they're two beats. And it says right. You got one right and the following wrong. Uh, this is not related to the file thing, but I want to I fix this too. Uh, it shouldn't say the following wrong if none of them were wrong. So let's just change this. You got a certain number of right. And then we'll say, uh, and then we're not going to, and we'll say, uh, if there are some wrong answers, then print, you got these wrong. And then we will show all the wrong ones. So let's run again. How many questions? Zero. You got zero right. Well, that's okay. We'll run again. How many questions? One. And a violin has four strings. And it says right to this answer. And then it says you got one right. Good. 
Now let's get at least one wrong. Uh, no, the answer is percussion. You got zero right. You got these wrong. And, the, and then it lists all the questions that are wrong. Okay, so to review, we took the questions that were inside the program and we moved them into a file here. And the question and the answer are separated by a tab character. And then we wrote code to read the file. And we use this with as along with open. And then we use read lines to get all the lines of a file. And, and then as before, we mix up the lines. And um, then we look at the lines one by one. And for each line, we strip off the new line character at the end, and then we split it on the tab character. The rest of the program is the same, except for the last part I changed to be a little bit more precise about um, if you got something wrong. Okay, there you go. And I hope that answers this question.